Most people in America are familiar with a retail experience. What we know is that we have a need in a decision that needs to be made about a product that we need to purchase. What we recognize from our own life experiences that there are a plethora of vendors and companies that create things that we utilize in America. When we go to a retail store, we expect a particular level of professionalism, and we also expect a particular level of indiscretion. The problem is that the indiscretion continues to persist, and the professionalism continues to wane as we continue our journey across America. We also know that there are different types of society, different types of communities, and because of that, if we're in a particular area of a country or city, we might have one type of experience, versus if we're in a particular area or type of community in a different portion of the city, like the suburbs, we might have another experience. The standard expectation in a retail purchasing situation is still quite simple and yet quite opportune for elegance. A person will walk into a shop, survey the products on the shelf that are represented by millions of dollars of corporate conversations and basically negotiations that create the strategic alliances and profitable partnerships of major corporations with a vending shop. A vending shop could be a wholesale club, a vending shop could be a box store, a vending shop could be an office supply store, a vending shop could be any type of a drug store or what we might call a convenience store or even a gas station today or any other type of specialty shop at the mall per se. But in those cases, usually there's a lot less vendors available compared to a large corporation that handles a lot of properly due product. When we're in that experience, we expect behavior appropriate to the sales process and that we should be allowed to walk in and out of just about any store with the best intentions to evaluate the options of purchase our budget in which we carry there, and openly make a decision, possibly with the social etiquette and what we might call consultative sales process of some employee that is supposed to be more than just a pusher of products, meaning they're supposed to have paid attention to the trainings that those international and national corporations bring to the shop when their distributors and their vendor salespeople step in to see what is and isn't currently needed on a semi-regular basis. Or, we're expected as an employee to do a little perusing, do a little bit of reading, and determine what products we do regularly have and don't regularly have. But a lot of times, very young and immodest employees will simply recognize where things are located in a store, and the worst of employees won't know a damn thing about what things are and where they are. But what we do know is that in that sales process of the experience that we are the customer and consumer representing discretionary income, which makes a choice for us as an individual of where and when and how we're going to use and invest our money in a salesperson that is a representation of those millions and billions of dollars of negotiations on the lowest of level of that process because the corporations are doing all that business at the top. So our job is not only to serve ourselves individually in terms of keeping our wages or keeping our salary, but our absolute job is to satisfy our employer to make sure that we are properly representing not only the corporate brand but also the brand's codes of ethics and expectations of a hell of a lot of companies across America.